Hi everyone, welcome back from break. This month we're going to talk about color and we're going to start at the beginning with the primary colors. So I brought a slideshow and some videos to share with you. This is a simple color wheel and these are the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Any other color can be made by mixing these colors, but you can't make a red out of yellow and blue or make a blue out of yellow and red. You have to start with these three colors. And in the beginning, they made these colors out of things they found in the world. Like a red was made from a red ochre clay that was found in the ground. And a blue was made from lapis lazuli, which was a semi-precious stone. And yellow was made from a yellow ochre, another clay. And as time went on, colors were made from all kinds of different things, and even from different chemicals and made in labs later. But in the beginning, they started with red, blue, and yellow. Black was around too, because black was from the carbon soot from smoke. And they used that to make colors darker. Joaquin Torres Garcia was an artist from Uruguay, and he made a lot of paintings and murals using just the primary colors that we just saw in white and black. He made these murals for a hospital, and when they were all done, they were huge and they were beautiful, but when they were all done, people thought the colors were too bright. They weren't relaxing enough for the hospital. And it was a little too modern, maybe. So some people really liked them and some people really didn't. Here's another famous painting done in just the primary colors and white. This is Mondrian and it's called Broadway Boogie Woogie. Why do you think it's called that? Mondrian really liked jazz. And Broadway is a major street in New York City. So to me, this painting looks like it's got a lot of energy. It's got bright colors, and it looks a little like a grid of a city street with cars moving fast and maybe moving to some music of some jazz up and down the streets and sideways. But it's very simple with only these couple of colors. So we started with the primary colors, yellow, blue, and red. And then if you mix them, you get the colors called secondary colors in between. So if you mix the yellow and the red here, you get orange. What do you get if you mix the red and the blue? Purple, that's right. And blue and yellow, you get green. You can keep going like that. See this? This one is the tertiary colors. That means if you just keep mixing, if you mix your yellow with a green over here, maybe you get a lighter green and even more the lighter green with this yellow, you get an even lighter yellow green. So you can keep mixing and make all the colors that you want. A German artist, Gerhard Richter, who's alive now, mixed these colors to his heart's content. And he made this painting called 1024 Farben, or 1024 Colors. And he had them arranged randomly, mathematically. And those are all the different colors he made out of the primary colors with the addition of gray to give some depth to the colors, make some darker. And you can see how big it is by the people, the handlers that are moving it in the museum. Here's a picture. He did many of these with different colors because there's so many colors you can make. And here's a picture of one in a different museum. And you can see with the girl standing in front how big it is and how many colors. I guess there's 1,024 colors, but I did not count them. And then he went even crazier and made 4,096 colors here. Do you think he could make more than that? Or, you know, is there a point when you just can't make any more? I don't know. And he used this much later. This was done in 1974. That's 40 something years ago. 
Much later, in 2007, he used that painting for inspiration to make this stained glass window in the cathedral in Köln in Germany. And this one only has 72 colors in it, but only because that was the amount he could make in glass that stood up well to light in the window and were also like the old stained glass windows when they first built the church a long, long time ago. So those are just some of the things you can do mixing colors. And I have a story here read by a fellow art teacher on the internet called Color Blocked. It'll give you an idea of how you can mix colors. Take this book from side to side to unclog the pipe. Huh? Hmm, that's odd. Hmm. Try shaking it up and down this time. <laughs> well done. You found red. <laughs> But look, these pipes are twisted. Turn the book all the way around to straighten them out. Excellent. Yellow is pouring out. And look. Yellow is mixing with red and turning orange. Maybe that's too much. Turn the book sideways to dump some yellow out. Great job. But now, yellow is headed straight for blue. And... You guessed it. Yellow and blue are mixing to make green. Yikes! Green is taking over and blue is almost gone. Quickly push the button to drain blue. You saved blue, but now blue is dripping all over red. Rub the blue with your fingers to wipe it off. Oh dear, blue smeared with red and turned purple. But wait, what's that sound? Whoosh! Splat! Spray! Quick, turn the book all the way around to close the pipes. Pipes must be broken. <coughs> Colors exploding everywhere. Shut the book. So you've learned a little about the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. And I have two activities for you. The first thing is we're going to make a found object color wheel. That means go around where you are and find objects in the colors on the color wheel. We can do the primary and secondary colors. So something that's red, a couple things of each. Couple things that have orange, yellow, green, 
blue and purple and find you know three or five things of each of these colors and we're going to arrange them in the shape of the color wheel and if you want to add even more like the third color wheel we saw that had the tertiary colors go for it so i'm going to make my color wheel and come back and show you what it looks like so here it is you can see red orange yellow green blue and purple all the way around the color wheel The second project I have for you to do today is to make your own color. Now, the best thing to use for this would be some paint or chalk or pastels, but crayons will work just fine. Colored pencils should work. You can even try markers, depending on what kind of markers you have. And I want you to mix some colors until you get a color that you like. And think of a name for it. And then draw a picture using it. So maybe you make a new ice cream flavor color or a crazy monster out of your new color. Give them a name. For my new color, I used these three crayons. First I colored down this blue and then some yellow and then, oh, not this one, this one and then a little bit of orange right on top. So I made this color here. You can tell it's a mixture of all those colors and it's called Razzle Tazzle Plumberry. And I made a Razzle Tazzle Plumberry ice cream cup. So I can't wait to see your found object color wheels and I can't wait to see what new color you create and what you do with it. See you next week.